You need me to help you undo this world you created by letting her die. Hello, Snyderverse fans. My name is James. Welcome to Digital Charcuterie. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please give us a like and a subscribe. Your support means so much and helps us out so much. So please share the video, comment, do it all. I love hearing your comments and I try to reply to all of them. So please give me a comment on your thoughts down below. Got to attack Snyderverse. Look, I've done a few videos on this. Is it dead? Is it alive? Does the Flash retcon it completely? Does it put it to the side? I think we're going to see that the Flash actually does indeed put the Snyderverse to the side which you may not agree with you might hate that idea however I've gotten a few emails from some viewers over the last little while and I decided to do some digging and, and talk to some other people who might know a few things and some don't obviously so take this all with a grain of salt but I have been doing some digging because some of you have asked and I had to get an answer because when I heard about the flash test screening no one mentioned anything about Batman they say they uh, Ben Affleck is great as Batman but we already know that we've seen him as Batman he's winning all the polls as the best Batman we know that Ben Affleck makes a great Batman and look whether you like Michael Keaton coming back or not Michael Keaton was a great Batman as well and he's coming back and people are saying that he's also very good and he looks fantastic in the role so all that aside where does the Snyderverse leave us at the end of this film well what I am gathering is that this film actually ends again grain of salt can't confirm if this is a post credit scene mid credit scene or part of the movie itself but Ben Affleck is not stuck in a time loop his Bruce Wayne is actually stuck in the Snyderverse he's in the Snyderverse the Flash is outside the Snyderverse and the rest of the DC films for now are going to be outside the Snyderverse and Ben Affleck is stuck in the Snyderverse and what these reports are now indicating what I am hearing what I have asked around is that the scene with Batman Ben Affleck's Batman is going to mirror the scene with Barry Allen's Flash calling out to Bruce Wayne for help indicating Lois Lane is the key blah 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 and in fact what happens now is that Ben Affleck teases the crisis event that I mentioned in an earlier video and he actually reaches out to Barry Allen for help at the end of this movie how that works I'm not really sure but he somehow is able to relay a message to Barry Allen for help which would then set up the crisis of Infinite Earths event that it looks like Warner Brothers and DC is heading towards. So that's what I got right now. Ben Affleck not in a time loop, not killed. He just remains in the Snyderverse uh, and that is going to lead us to the Crisis event which is going to bring all of these universes together in some capacity. Whether or not we see Pattinson's Batman or not in there. The Reevesverse, I don't know. That seems very separate. But we'll see what happens. A lot of potential, a lot of possibilities. Don't know if that makes any of you happy or not, but please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me here today for this little topic. I love talking about it, love hearing your thoughts, so please like, share, comment, subscribe, and until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.